אין אדם זוכה לתורה, and a person can achieve the wisdom of the Torah הקדושה, really, to have the Torah, that the Torah is going to be inside of you, going to be part of your bones, part of your neshama, part of your body, אלא על ידי שפלות, just by humility. If a person has got wonderful memory, and he's got talents, and his uh, father is paying for him that he's going to learn with the most wonderful rabbis and everything, and he's putting all of his effort in limud, but he's arrogant, he won't have the Torah. He would know, like, um, like, math, Omrim, the mathematica. So it's going to be like something that is, he's learning something, chemistry, bio, biology, something like that. He's learning, he's learning halachot, he's learning information, the Torah, really, the humility, you, the Torah, you can't reach it, the wisdom of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, you can't achieve it unless you have humility, you're humble. כמו שאמרו חז"ל, like that it's written in the Gemara Masechet Eruvin, וממדבר מתנה, from the desert as a gift. Like I told you a few times, I think, that Rav Shalom explained that what it means, ממדבר מתנה, it's written that the person, after he's putting an effort in limud, so then he is achieving, like that it's written, um, 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 yagata umatsata, ta means if you put your effort and you found, in the end, you should believe. Im lo yagata, but if you didn't put an effort and it was easy for you, umatsata, and you found something, al ta'amin. Don't believe that it's right. If you put an effort and you find, believe. But if not, don't believe. So from that we're learning that if you're putting your effort, you, you, you find something, you should believe in it, so it's because of your effort. Kivyachol. So I have a privilege, I put my effort, and then I learn, and now I have it, and so, give me the honor that, uh, that I should get from it. Kivyachol. I put my effort, but it contradicts that verse that it's written, Umimidbar Matana that we got the Torah as a gift, it's a free gift, you don't deserve nothing, but now you said that I, if I put my effort, I'm going to achieve it, and it's mine, but now, if and if I'm putting my effort, I'm not worthy, so how? So Rav Shalom said, when a person is putting all of his effort, and he's suffering for the Torah Kedusha, he's going to understand one thing, the Torah Kedusha he won't understand. He's going to understand that he can't understand the Torah Kedusha. This is what he's going to understand. When you're putting your effort, you're going to understand that you're nothing. And then when you're nothing, when you understand that it's a lot bigger than you, that you're so poor, and that Kadosh Baruch Hu was, is so wise, so awesome, and that the Tzadikim that was before of you, all of them Farshim, I can't understand how they reach those huge Chidushim, and they're huge, and I'm nothing. Then, this is your understanding when you're going to put your effort in the Torah. This is what you're going to understand. That you're nothing, that you're worthless, that you're so far, that no one can save you. Except for Hashem Midbarach. And then when you're going to understand that you are a Midbar, a desert, that there's nothing in it, that it's empty, you're going to get the Torah, Matana, as a present. So your effort is bringing you to the level that you're going to be humble. That you're nothing. And then you're going to get the Torah Kedusha, Matana. And then if you got who Matzata, you put your effort and you understand that you're nothing, and then you found it means that HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave it to you as a present, Tamin. Now you're going to believe. What are you going to believe? You're going to believe in Hashem. Tamin, not in the thing that you found. You should believe in Hashem, that He gave you that. Like I said once, that in, in Atachonen Ladam Dat, we're saying to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Chonenu me'itcha, bring it to us from you, me'itcha, Chochma bina vadat. But we can say, Chonenu, bring to us, Chochma bina vadat. Why we're saying me'itcha, from you? When we're saying Chonenu, you're going to give it to us, you're going to give that. We're saying it already, but we're saying it twice, Chonenu me'itcha. You're going to bring it from yourself. Why? Because we're asking from HaKadosh Baruch Hu that we're going to remember that it's coming from you. If you're That's saying, Chonenu, Chochma Bina Vadat, so we're going to be wise. Wonderful, we're going to be wise. It's not it. 
if you forget that Hashem gave you that wisdom, it's nothing, it's arrogant. You're in a big, big mistake. But if you remember that it's Meitcha, that Hashem Yitbarach, you gave us the wisdom, so then it's Chokhmah, Binah, Vadas. This is something that you should pray on, that you're going to remember that everything you're getting from Hashem Yitbarach. So, 